Welcome back, you guys, to Let's Play Amnesia. And it's been like a month since we've done this, and you guys have probably noticed the long break I took in between actually doing these episodes, because I'm horrible at keeping- we're horrible at keeping up with stuff. But anyway, so it is a good morning. What a beautiful day! And you have worked today. Despite that fact that it's summer break, I feel like you're overexerting yourself. I don't know, Ryan, that's life! You work and you do doing anything else. I'm you work till right? you work till you collapse. That's just society. <laughs> you have too many shifts. You're pretty much a full time employee. What? That is life, Orion. Good lord. <laughs> no shit, dude. Uh, <laughs> I wonder if there's something you wanted to buy or something. Oh. Hey, look over there in the corner of the calendar. It says a small print. Goal: Kobe. Kobe is that place you met first met Ukio for the first time, right? So you weren't trying you were trying to work a lot to save the money and travel to Kobe again? Was it just to see the area or do you think it was because you wanted to see Ukyo? I wonder which it is. This is enough information to figure it out. Yeah, we just didn't like we did not write enough information about anything. It would just be helpful if my character was more descriptive. <laughs> Good morning. I don't remember voices, fuck. <laughs> Uh, I, think I think he was just normal. He was normal. Yeah, yeah. I think he was just normal. Good morning, Alex. You're on time as usual. Good morning. Hey, are you out of the fireworks show that's coming up? I was just talking about this with Mine. Last year was postponed for a week due to the rain, but this year the weather is... Uh... <laughs> Creeper just walks into the conversation he wasn't even a part of. Hey, I was part of this conversation. <laughs> I was a part of the conversation. <laughs> oh, Ukyo. Crap, I'm too early, aren't I? Seems like you're not open yet. I'll come back. Good morning, Ukyo. We'll be opening in five minutes, so do not worry. Come on in. Oh, thank you. I'm already in here anyway, so... Yeah, I'm not leaving until I, I get my coffee and my toast. I need my coffee, my toast, and I need to kill... I, I mean, uh, you know, coffee toast. <laughs> kill the coffee toast? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, then I'll go change the sign to open. Yes, thank you. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I just went right through it. I'm actually kind of suffering from allergies, so I was like, really, oh, I really worried I wouldn't be able to do voices properly, so I might need water late. <laughs> a bit. That's anyway. fine. Well, ah, sick. Never throw. Apparently, Yukio has allergies, even though it's August. <laughs> uh, well, still. It is cold for August, so cold. True. Thanks for letting me in early, but weren't you in the middle of a morning meeting? No, we were just chatting about the fireworks show. <laughs> Ah, that's right. It's on the 13th. You're not going to take pictures, or are you going to go watch with Alex? Hmm. Oh, that won't happen. I'm sure she wouldn't want to go out with some stranger like me. And besides, she and I are just a customer and a witness. What was that noise? <laughs> that's not a witness, that's a waitress. I was like, what was that noise? A customer and a witness. A witness. <laughs> She's a witness to every time I have murdered her. A customer and, and a witness. witness. I don't know, Ukiyo. The way we've hung out, I'd say we're more than that. That's how it'll always be. What? I know. I was say that. Yesterday he was saying stuff about how important you were to him, and now he says that. Maybe he just doesn't want to let them know. Does he like you or does he not care? Which is it? I say a bit of both. Well, you can invite her and invite her, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, hi. Oh. Oh, Iki, I thought you were going to be late, but you're exactly 30 seconds early. Wow! I'm always careful about not being tardy. <laughs> I heard some part-timers were sent off to the front lines and haven't returned for two years. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Front lines? <laughs> well, getting back to the subject, would you like to watch the fireworks with me? Fucking... Iki's like seriously like Mr. Steal Your Girl this in this video. On my way to steal your girl. <laughs> yeah. Come to, think of, come to think of it, Iki, you mentioned something about that the other day, didn't you? Mm, yes. I was going to message her and it invite, but I thought it would be better ask her in person. I wish you guys could see how she does this right now. She's doing it so like she has one hand up in the air and holding her elbow. It's so funny. I don't think I've ever I seen. I have to pose as Iki if I'm going to. Do I did the voice. same thing in my Dong and Rampa thing as as Junko. Whenever I would talk, I'd just be like, I'd have my hands. I'd, I, if I was in Queen mode, I'd have my hands. I'm like, why am I being so like flamboyant about this? Mm. Although, I'd mistaken with her shit when her shift was in lost a bit of time. So, what do you say? The 13th? Or 
if you've been invited already by Shin or someone else. Mm. Oh, does Yukio seem a little annoyed to you? Why don't you go, Alex? What? I won't be going. You should have him take you. Waka, think you could show me in? Oh, sure. Go over right, inside! This is... Yeah, what, what the, the hell? What the frig? <laughs> I thought he was interested in you. Guess not. Every time he comes here, he always talks to you. So I thought he was trying to get your attention. Um... <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh well, it'd be a waste to miss this opportunity worrying about others. So on the 13th, you'll be alright going with me to the fireworks show then, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll send you a message later with the details. See you. We didn't even agree! <laughs> yes, we did. No. Oh. <laughs> He's pretty straightforward. We didn't even have a chance to say- Exactly! I never said anything! He just said, yeah, we're going, okay? You're I'm gonna hold your hand and touch your butt. <laughs> Thank you. Mm, touching butts <laughs> with Alex. That should be nice. <laughs> All the girl fangirl buddy. Kitty. Oh shit! I hope they don't appear. I oh, hope. we're friends with Rika, so maybe. They yeah, are. exactly. We're friends with Rika this time, so it might not be as big of a deal. Hopefully. But don't you think it might be a little reckless to go out with a person you don't even know? Well, we did know him probably. We just don't now. Mm -hmm. And besides, what are Iki's intentions for inviting you? But touching. I thought he said something like you weren't his type or whatever. So, you're inviting that kind of person to see a fireworks. If it's not love, then friendship? Plutonic friendship? It's never a plutonic friendship, plutonic. but okay. Plutonic? Isn't it platonic, not plutonic? There's no you in there. Pl platonic. Pluton yeah, I, I'm, plutonic. I say, I'm sorry, I say it weird. I'm sorry. Yeah, I was like, there's no you in there. It's a plutonic friendship, <laughs> a chemical friendship, a planet friendship. Is that actually something chemical? I feel. It's oh, it's Pluto. <laughs> I forgot about Pluto. It's still a planet. Thank God. It's not a planet. Yes, it is. He became it's a planet recently. Again? Yeah, Jeez. gee, I'm serious. Jeez. Make up your minds, NASA. <laughs> platonic. I'm sorry, okay? That's why I was like, is, is, was I pronouncing it wrong all this time? No, it's platonic. Platonic, <laughs> but I, I say it weird. I say platonic because I'm just weird. I was leave like, me, I leave was, me alone. I was like, am I pronouncing it? Aw, oh, Mine, don't look happy. <laughs> Mine, good. Mm. Hmm? What's up with Mine? That's not fair. It's always you. I want to be able to go on a date with Iki too. I hate you! Oh my gosh, Mide, stop being a bitch face McNose oh. ho! Was that her name? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Not another problem, Iki, you idiot! <laughs> All a part of my plan. <laughs> home sweet home! Man, I'm tired. I pissed off a girl today and going out on a date with a guy who doesn't, who I don't think even likes me, but all of, and then the one guy I think who does like me, and the life is weird. Or strange. No, we don't or bring dank. that up again. Or dank. <laughs> oh no. Dealing with customers is more tiring than I thought. I'm as tired as the day as the time I fused with the dog and ran around in the snow for hours. What the f what? 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 Can we get that instead of this? I that, would make, that would make a better story. No. Oh, you're right. I want to hear this story. Did you ever watch Fifty Below? Uh, or the, the, the thing about the dogs where the dogs actually die and it's very sad. It was the first movie I think I ever actually cried in and my sister and I can't watch it without being like, they killed I think them! I saw something like that, yeah. It's actually really sad. <laughs> For a kid, it's like, what? Oh, did I not tell you before? I can fuse with other things besides humans. That's my special ability. Other spirits can't do that. Don't you think it's cool? No, because it's because if you're crap that we got into this situation, you, you dumb, you I guess it's probably thanks to that I fuse super easily with you. But so yeah, it, it's a curse. You dingus. <laughs> Ding. I've never had a situation where I couldn't separate from the host, not even once. Okay. Oh, a message. We're gonna just completely ignore what I just said. Mm. Yukatas, wear them tomorrow. Rika says she wants to see you too. The three of us can go look at Yukatas tomorrow. Cool. Yukata shopping with Iki and Rika. Mm, what could I got go the wrong? best. I got the best advice from a friend who lives in China. Who, one of my friends from China. She said, if you're gonna go to Japan, don't buy a Yukata because just just weren't one because it's a waste to spend that much money on something you're never gonna wear. I'm like, that's good advice. Oh, well, that would make sense in my opinion. I mean, when are you gonna wear it again? Mm. Besides to a con. You just have to pray you go to cons a lot. Mm. Tomorrow, what should we do? 
If we're with him for a long period of time, I feel like he might catch on about your amnesia. But if we don't talk to people about your memories won't come back, there's a real this is a really this could be a really good chance. And besides, if Rika's with you, it may be better to go along with him. It'll be good practice for the 13th. Alright, the three of us will go out tomorrow. You cut to adventures with Iki, Rika, and Alex. What could go And Orion. <laughs> Can't forget Orion. He's here too. FT Orion. <laughs> So, Ryan. <laughs> I know. So now that that's settled, what I don't like is Ukio's attitude. My attitude is fine. What are you talking about? <laughs> is he interested in you or not? Baby. Okay, After talking to him yesterday, I could gra I couldn't gra I could grasp what his intentions were were all good. His were warning. His warning. Sorry. His it's okay. I'm re, re I'm doing what I did before. It's okay. I could grasp his warnings were all good intentions, but why is he acting like that? If a girl you like gets in, goes, gets invited on a date by another guy in front of you, would you really act like that? Like, oh yeah, just take her. What is up with that? I mean, he said it himself before, but it seems like Ukiyo is trying his best to not get too close to you. I hate this trap! I know! Mm. Maybe for Ukiyo, and I just knocked something over. I, I knocked my bottle of blood over, guys. My bad. Literal bottle of blood. Oh, shit. <laughs> I used it. I use it for like zombie makeup and stuff. I'm sorry. It's not real. Oh guys, it's real. <laughs> I bottle the blood of my enemies and drink it. I am whatever her face, the, the vampire queen lady. Oh no! <laughs> Toba! <laughs> ah, what the hell? You don't have to kill him. I'm sorry. Sorry, it was annoying, but still. Oh, it's okay. It's okay, guys. I'm kind of alive. Ah, Toba, there you are. What the hell, man? Why'd you let her do that to you? <laughs> Gosh. Maybe for Ukyo seeing, oops, maybe for Ukyo seeing seeing you in a special way and avoiding him at all costs hold the same meaning. But it would be nice to know about what's on his mind. We've been doing this for so long now. It's just like I don't even care anymore. Uh, you think so too, right? I'm sure you'd be worried not knowing about what his true intentions were, wouldn't you? I want to know if the feelings he had for you are true indeed. Orion, you didn't even believe us when we had. Oh, Whoa. oh, kissy face. Kiss you. Kisu. Kiss me. Kiss, uh, kiss me. Anyway, though, still. Uh, Ryan, you didn't even believe us. We were like, we had a memory return. You're like, yeah, right. And oh, bullshit. I don't believe you. Yeah, I mean. Try yeah. again another day. Yeah. With feeling. Good day. It seems like I made you late. Oh. Oh, it's you. There she is. It's you. It's not Rika. <laughs> it's actually you right there. <laughs> it's me right there. You're Rika. Hi, I. I play Rika. <laughs> oh, holy. I came this time, but it seems like you were early. Excuse me. <laughs> that was a perfect laugh. It was. Yes, I'm getting better. The perfect. <laughs> I can never get used to her. <laughs> so. So. I heard from Iki. I heard he invited you to the fireworks show. Oh shit! Run, Alex. Crap! I wonder if she's mad. <laughs> Do you think I'd be jealous? Did you think I'd be so mad that I I'd go that. I'd go to the Kishibon Sen Temple and to curse you? Yes! I would never! I mean, Iki invited me to the beach. Oh. Between a fireworks show and a beach, the beach is obviously a higher rank, so I'd be more than happy to let you go to the fireworks. I guess that's fair enough. Despite saying that she's more happy, her joking about going to the temple to curse us sounds real. And besides, even if he invited you to go to the beach, I don't think you'd be able to go. It'd be too cold. It isn't, isn't it important for fans to share? Although it's important to get a leg up as well. <laughs> fans? I guess you and Rika are in the same fan club or something. Ah, uh, why didn't we Fuck! Wait, hold up. Fan club? Is that fan club for Iki? Uh. Do we want to go back into this? No. What? There's an actual organized fan club for an ordinary student? What in the world is this? No, what world is this? I'll tell you, Orion. It's in all the worlds. Dun, Except dun. really, Shins, it wasn't intense yeah. so it wasn't really touched up on that but still and yeah oh let's not even talk about there i could i already have like a whole idea of how to rewrite thomas rod in my head <laughs> i'll get to that at the end that excludes okay. the fan club i mean i guess he's dreamy but oh i'm just saying rika became a ryan hi friend mm, you two seem close as usual oh hello mr Iki. how are you are you doing well today Yes, good morning. Sorry for the wait. I don't know Where's what? this text block come from? Every time I- if Get I, out of here. If I press the thing, the, the scroll thing, it always does that. Get out of here. Who's text block with <laughs> it? I came. 
<laughs> so he goes, I came early, but some members caught me. They tried to ask me where I was going today. It took a lot of work to lose them. Whoa, this is seriously is an inky fan club, huh? I did not expect this. Oh, we, oh. We're tired of doing this over and over again. <laughs> they did what to Mr. Inky? I am so sorry, Mr. Inky. I caused trouble for you for my failure to educate them properly. It's not that big a deal. Don't worry about it. Rather, you two, okay? You two are the closest to me, so I hope they're not doing anything to either of you. Well, Rika's the fucking president, so she's fine. Us! Ah! Because again. Uh, Killian inserts splatter effect. <laughs> that is splatter effect when Ukiya throws you off the roof mm -hmm. in Ken's route. <laughs> or the. Oh, man. Okay. Or inserts uh, Goofy yo. Yeah! <laughs> My mom cannot listen to fucking Evanescence anymore because of me. It's my fault that she can no longer listen to Bring Me to Life anymore I without being like, it's your fault. I can see that. My, you were that worried about us? Thank you so much, Mr. Iki. However, there's no need to worry. I am the president of the fan club, and she is my friend. I won't let the little brats touch her. Oh. Wow. Brats? Wait, friends? I see. But if something happens... You be sure to tell me. I'll come up with a plan. I guess the best course of action would be for me to keep my distance from you both, but that would suck a whole lot. You two are the very few people I can actually be normal friends with. I don't want to lose you guys over something like this. That's actually way different than previous. <gasps> Mr. Iki, your concern is beyond anything I could have ever imagined. I'm so glad to be alive. I should die tomorrow, so I don't have a regret in this life. Wait, I should die tomorrow, so I have no regrets? Oh my god. Let me show you this cool cliff. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyways, let's get going. I shot fr I a shop I free- I shot- I, I was like- I was Free like, and try again. <laughs> a shop I frequent started to sell you katas. They're pretty cute and inexpensive. That was a really weird way to say A shop I frequent. You mean a shop I go to? Good lord, Iki. No, a shop I frequent. That's not. That's a. Why it's, don't it's, you just, we, it's weird, but it is don't the correct. Just go say instead of going instead of being fancy like a shop I frequent. Why not just say a shop I go to? Seriously, Iki, get out of here. You are dead. because they're fa being fancy. They want here, Iki. They want to make these college kids sound you're like not, college you're professors. Not you don't have to sound smart. You just have to be pretty. Anyways, Alex, a moment, please. Huh? What? I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared too, Ryan. I did say what I said to Mr. Iki earlier, but it's true that there have been some evil intentions within the fan club. Cries oh, yeah. a river because I'm I'm so <laughs> glad to be BFFs with her right now that I'm not going to die. Because Mr. Iki invited you to the fireworks show, and he invited me to the beach. He invited another girl to another place. He's trying his best not to play fa any sort of favoritism, but... There are plenty of girls that have recently joined the fan club who don't like that. Riga, you're the president. Get them under control. Seriously. Rather than being equal, they want him to only have eyes for them. That's why they do things to the other members. Communism. <laughs> it's basically communism. It's like push them off cliffs or put them in a boat and put, put a hole in the boat and drown them. It's like, oh, jeez. So really trivial things that stand out are making those brats jealous. I love how they're, she's calling them brats. They're her brats. I wonder if this is how she really felt. You were invited by me and became a member without being really interested in Mr. Iki, right? Despite seeing those eyes, you were still not infatuated with him. Iki's stupid eyes. And because of that, Mr. Iki finds it easy to talk to you, I'm sure. But that alone calls for action. I mean, even I, as the president, had a major altercation with the new members. They said it was unfair of me to continue. Of course, I completely beat the crap out of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, Rika. I'm just gonna. Put, I can't imagine a girl who looking like her could actually beat the crap out gonna, of them. I mean, I understand this her. way away from you now. From me? No, for her. Oh, well, from the computer. You now. <laughs> I was like, I'm not we doing it. Well, we need a three foot perimeter. <laughs> 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 Don't cross this line. <laughs> 
for some reason, they seemed to be weak against me. And because of their timidness, I was easily able to win. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Right, yeah, I bet. <laughs> Sorry, I read that weird. She just pulls out a freaking sword or something out of her out of her boobs and then just killed them all. <laughs> it's like she's got like a shotgun under her dress. Yeah. Fully loaded, bitches! <laughs> Pretty much. However, you don't talk much. I'm sure that they're, they think you're pretty mellow, so they probably underestimate you. And besides, there's always been the people who say calm girls are annoying because they are putting up a front. Oh, were you the type of person to be hated by the girls in your class? Anyway, you're in a position where you can easily upset people, so please be very careful. I suggest that it would be best that if you not tell others about the fireworks show. Got it? Why are you standing there? Let's talk later over drinks. Yeah, don't tell me what the frig was going on, guys. Oh, excuse me. I will be right there. Let's go, Alex. <laughs> this is awful, guys. Like, holy frick with this girl. I don't know. My concern is she really our friend? Is she gonna play us? Are we gonna end up off a cliff? I have no clue. I don't even know how the, how the deaths in this game work, period. We sure uh, We avoided one, apparently. At, like, the very beginning of the game. Yeah, it's like you can get a game over, like, way beginning. <laughs> Freaking hate this. We sure walked a lot today, and you even got to buy a yukata. Uh, I wanted to hear a conversation over drinks. Yeah, seriously. I want to hear more ho ho hoing laugh. <laughs> I was so nervous. Not about your amnesia, but the look, the looks you were getting from the passerby. Rika, Iki, and you, the three of you walking together side by side really drew a lot of intention. Well, let's think here. We have a guy in a suit, a girl in a Victorian like, style dress, and then, Me. And then you <laughs> in a kind of cute outfit, but still, you guys stand out. Pretty much. Get but, uh, squad goals right there, guys. The squad goals. <laughs> but thanks to Rika being here, everything ended up going smoothly. More than that, we were able to figure out the relationship between you, Iki, thanks to Rika. But what do you think? You know, about the fan club that talks that talk, talk that Rika was sharing with us. She was telling us that there's no not to stand out too much. It's a little scary to know that other people had bad intentions towards you. Maybe it's best not to hang out with Iki. Ukiya said to go, but... I'll talk it over with Ukiya. Yeah. I better stay. I see. That may be best. It seems like Ukiya knows something about that we don't. So he may be able to give us advice about it. Since we still have his number from the other day, why don't we ask him? Talk to friendship. Five minutes later. <laughs> Whoa, a reply already? What does it say? I think there's all means of saying whether you freeze the Ikis in my night, you'll be throwing fuel to the fire. Nothing will happen tomorrow. Have fun. Go. Get out of here. <laughs> Who's this? I think he's telling us to go, but that makes me feel even more worried. Well, I guess right now there's no point in worrying. I guess it'll be fine. But I thought he'd say something more convincing in convincing us not to go. He said that he said that he loved you. Ugh. Rika said that the girls from the fan club don't get jealous because Iki treats them all 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 treats all fan club members equally, right? I wonder how Ukio feels about that. Is there some sort of reasoning that makes him feel fine about hearing you hanging out with another man? Is he really not jealous or has he given up? Orion, did you miss the part where he's like I like you, but I'm not good for you. Push away. The chair doesn't move this way, so I can't push You're it. in my way! So I can't push it <laughs> the way I want to, but still, you guys can't see it either. You really need a camera where it just shows two faces, and I can be like, push. Whoa! 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 Hey, wake up, wake up! Wake up and stop the alarm! I can't stop it! It's been ringing for ages! Hurry and wake up! Shut up, Orion. Snooze. Man, that was so loud. Thanks for turning it off. It's nice to see to set your alarm clock for sleep and all, but the sound is just so loud. If you're gonna use if you're gonna use any alarm, it might be better to use a cell phone alarm, but then I won't wake up. Well Not then the you have to have your cell phone alarm to like a uh, max. That's what I do, except for the one time where I had it. And I just saw here. And I just like hear a song for you blast and I woke up and like literally was like my heart was like beating so fast because it scared the crap. When I had my old iPhone, my alarm wouldn't work. Like I would, I would put my alarm on and it would never go off. Like it would be going That's off. That's weird. But it was weird. Yeah. Mine works, and then I just woke up, woke, wake up every morning to uh, to progress. 
Yeah, I trust my alarm. Now what time is it? Huh? Three in the afternoon? Oh my gosh. This is bad. We overslept. What the heck kind of good does it do setting alarm for three o'clock? Oh Who sleeps till three in the afternoon? Oh. I'll stay up until 6 a.m. in the morning and then go to bed and be up at like four in the afternoon. Ew. Hey, I like my sleep. I like yeah. yeah I, I'm a I'm a night owl. I like. I don't like that though because then I'm like I feel like I wasted my entire day. I woke up once at like two o'clock or three o'clock once, and I was like, why did nobody wake me up? And my mom's like, well, it's New Year's Day. I figured you could sleep. And I'm like, never again, mom. Never again. <laughs> well, I was still asleep too, so I shouldn't be talking, huh? Good thing today's fireworks show starts in the evening. I think um, it's almost time for Iki to contact you. I'm sure it'll start after it gets darker out, so we should probably get ready around four. Ugh. But I'm a little curious about Ukiyo's message from yesterday. He did say to go have fun, but I guess he's right, but... Let's go! Maybe we shouldn't go. All right, yeah, let's do that. I think it might be for the best. Let's message Iki that you can't go today. Any reason to be good enough, right? I... I feel a little bad for canceling on him last minute, but... If you feel like you're sick or you're sorry, I don't think it'll sound too rude. I don't even know if that was right. I just, I'm like, I don't know. Uh, yeah, seriously, wearing a Yukata when it's this cold, you guys are crazy. I mean, I know it's August and calendar-wise it still says summer, but doesn't the climate remind you more of autumn? Night isn't so much cool as it is cold. I do understand the desire to wear a Yukata since it's the fireworks show and all, but... Why are we still talking about this if we're not going anywhere? Whoa, another message. Is it Iki replying? I got it. Don't worry. Bye. Peace. Oh, sweet. He's a pretty good guy. I'm feeling a little guilty. Uh, Let's send Ukiyo a message in case we did confide in him yesterday. Did you send it? I just have really bad anxiety and don't want to go out with anybody. <laughs> That'd be my thing. It's like, I just don't want to go. All right, so we're good on Iki's end as well. Iki. Okay, I'm Ukiyo, sorry. I'm <laughs> Iki, the uh, ship between Iki and Ukiyo. <laughs> Wait, that doesn't make sense. That's his name. Ah! <laughs> Iki, it would be Ikio. Ikio, yeah. There we go. But that would mean Ukiyo is the bottom. <laughs> I could see it. I could too, to a degree, but I feel like Ukiyo would be like dominant as frick. Uh, that would probably be his more crazy personality. It would be more dominant. His other one would be more submissive. <laughs> this is how we'll it would, talk about this. This is pretty much how it would go. I say, yeah. Uh, Iki would would be the dominant one. Ken's more submissive in that shipping, and Tom is the dominant one, and Shin's the submissive one in that shipping. And that's the only ships I got for this guy. So. <laughs> and the manager just flip flops. <laughs> yeah, between depending what world you're in. And Orion is totally a bottom. <laughs> Anyways, let's continue. And besides, I'm sure Mine, Sawa, and the others are going to see the fireworks too. You can't go out still, you dumbass! I wonder if Ukiyo's gonna try and see them as well. We have to stay inside all day now because we canceled. We can't even do anything. He did say something like he'd be doing his best not to see you, so he might be at home too. Or he could be napping somewhere random too. He's always worried about you, but when it comes yeah. to himself, it seems like he doesn't care much. I mean, the fact that he's trying as much as possible not to see you seem for seem for seems to be for your own good. So about today, is it okay to just hang out at home? It's all we can do. I'm a little worried about him. <laughs> I mean, we can't literally go out because if anyone sees it, like I thought you were sick. Yeah. So you're worried? Do, do you want to see him or something? Oh, not that worried. I think we should. I don't know. I'm just trying. You want to see Ukyo? What? Are you sure? Why'd you bring that up then? Honestly. But. Okay, fine. If you want to see him, let's look him up. Let's look for him. I'll help. You know, I'm sort of happy. At the start of your amnesia, you always just accept everything. But now you're starting You're starting to express your mor your emotions more strongly. Emotions more strongly. I just really hope nobody sees you out. Because if not, this going to be really bad. It's going to be really awkward. Yeah. Like, you want to see Ukyo. I'm sure that feeling is very important to you. Well, let's go. And let's call Ukyo and ask where he is. Because it's a thing. But anyways, I think we should cut the episode off here for now. I don't even know how long we've been going. Okay, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Please like, comment, subscribe for more videos like this every other day. I'll talk to you guys later. Right. Bye-bye.